I know one question that everybody is asking in their mind right now, and they want me to ask you this question. So here it comes. How do you find these people? <laughs> That's what I teach them. I teach people how to do that. So uh, in the senior living world, there's multiple hundreds of jobs that could be in the senior living industry, right? From wheelchair ramps and grab bars and incontinence products and ambulatory services and, you know, a hundred other things that are in senior living. But the nine, there's nine different stakeholders or job titles that I've found over the past decade that continually give me appointments to go buy houses month after month, year after year. So how you find them, uh, people hear me right now and they're probably thinking that Philip just walks into the front door of a senior living community, puts his hand out and says, Hey, I'm Philip, the house buyer. And I want you to know that is absolutely not the right way to do it. In fact, that's a great way to blacklist yourself in the industry you're trying to break into. And so, um, uh, you don't find them on campus. I'll say that it's kind of like, uh, if you sold products to a surgeon, you don't walk in during surgery, uh, while they're doing it. And so, uh, in my training, we have a three day training coming up and I, I, I go very deep into who the people are, where to find them, what to say, uh, even more importantly, Jay is what not to say. Um, the real estate investor world, we love the word investor, right? Investor, 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 but to the outside world, the world word investor can be sometimes used with the word shark in front of it, shark investor, right? And when you start talking about the word seniors, a, a class of people that already get taken advantage of more than anyone else, you can see why I had to create the sensitivity training for people. I don't need any old investor in my group. I need investors that'll take this training seriously. So that way they can um, become a tool that the senior living industry uses to help them with a problem that they have. That the home buying part, Jay, is, a, is the easy part. So the industry has a problem. Um, they don't want, you know, I, I, here, here's a sentence that's, you know, with a hundred grand, if you if your listeners want to write this down, I say, do you ever have a situation where they want to move mom in, but they can't until they get the house sold. And every person I talk to in senior living, they always chuckle. They're like, Phil, every day, that's what we deal with. And I say, are you working with anyone that's going through that right now? So in my second sentence, I've just asked for the sale. I didn't say I'm an investor and I definitely didn't say I'm a realtor, but I let them know that I fix a problem that they know that they just laughed about. It's such a big problem that they know that they have this problem. I fix that problem. I'm not there to list their house. I'm there to buy their house. I'm there to help that family unlock that equity out of their house so they can move mom in quicker with the cash, uh, the equity that's in that home. Because when you move mom into senior living, the number one thing that matters is where is mom going to get the best care? and follow it up very quickly with how in the world are we going to pay for this? And what are we going to do with the house and the stuff? And so my investors specialize in the house and the stuff, the things that we want. Do you want, do you want to know why these are the six, there's six reasons why these are the best leads. Do you think your listeners will be enjoy hearing why? Well, yeah, uh, well, yeah I want to hear it myself. Okay. There's six reasons. I'll take the Pepsi challenge with anyone on, on leads that they're working. So reason number one, uh, these families need to sell their house versus want to sell their house. So when you think about like cold calling and other types of marketing that are out there, think about the leads that you've been getting, right? They'll say something like, well, I'll sell my house for the right price, right? That's not true motivation. With the people moving mom into senior living, they have real motivation to sell it. So they need to sell it versus want to sell it. The second thing is they almost always have 100% equity. Uh, we're looking for people that have equity in their homes, right? We don't want people that are over leveraged. Having equity is good for investors. The third thing is these are houses that as investors, we can add value to, meaning even if they're clean, they're usually grandma clean, they're usually dated, and they're definitely full of stuff, full of life. I wouldn't quite say hoarders. Maybe they were aggressive collectors is a nice way to say they had a lot of stuff. A lot of life happened. So that house will not be retail ready anytime soon. Uh, the fourth reason is there's less competition in these leads. So Jay, it's almost always me versus no one or me versus a realtor. It's never me versus 10 other investors the way it is like with my direct mail campaigns. Um, so there's less competition. The fifth reason is probably my favorite. If I'm out looking for mom's end of life care and I'm working with stakeholders in the senior living industry that are giving me advice and that person says, hey, I've got somebody that's gonna come out uh, take your mom's house the way it sits. You don't have to fix it up. You don't have to clean it out. They'll take all the stuff that's in there. You know, take your heirlooms, anything that's left over. We'll close in three weeks. Would you like to get an offer for them? You can you can guess that the answer is always yes because that trust has been parlayed from them over to me as a real estate investor. So when they hand me that lead, I'm kind of set up on a platter to go in and, and close on the house. Um, 
those first five reasons, as if that wasn't enough, you know, if you're if you're looking for leads, we're we're all investors here. If we're, we're all looking for leads. As if those first five things weren't good enough. The sixth one is the is the magic. There, these leads are free. They're free. There's no cost to them. You can't go out and buy the list. There is no list to buy. You have to go out and network with the right people. So with Mom's House, our training is on where to find these people, what to say, who to be, so that way they want to use you month after month, year after year from now on.